Today, I would like to leave you with a message of deep reflection. Something that I truly believe in and that was one of the things that really transformed my life. Freedom and happiness don't have to be postponed or waited for. Our spiritual practices, like mindfulness and compassion, often intertwine with the notion of self-discipline and duty, guiding us along a path that at times appears strewn with obstacles and challenges. We tread, akin to alchemists of existence, in pursuit of benefits that extend across the horizon of time. Yes, the journey demands dedication, and there are cycles that test our resilience. However, something catches our attention, something you've probably heard before, the art of picking the fruit or the result. Visualize, for a moment, the realization of well-being. Now, imagine joy, freedom and love as ripe fruit hanging from the tree of human experience. The main point is that we need to understand that these fruits are not confined to tomorrow or a distant future, but are within our reach right now, regardless of the circumstances surrounding us. Our incessant search for fulfillment often blinds us to the fact that the journey itself is woven with preciousness and meaning. Every step, every breath, is an opportunity to touch the fruits of existence. Self-discovery, happiness and fulfillment are not ultimate goals on an unattainable horizon, but the fertile soil in which we are already rooted. So please, try to understand this. By understanding this, we unveil the paradox of the spiritual journey, freedom is always available, happiness is an immediate choice, and blossoming occurs when we realize that the fruits of fulfillment are already in our hands. The gateway to happiness and deep fulfillment is the present moment. Right here, in the now, we discover freedom, love and joy, all within the space where you are, just here and now. A lifetime for many of us has been intertwined with plans, future expectations, ambitions, with regrets, guilt or shame about the past. Entering the present interrupts this war. Guys, this is real, try to understand deeply what I've just said. Once again, entering the present, interrupts our inner war. The gateway to happiness and fulfillment, is the present moment. When we let go of our battles and open our hearts to embrace things as they are, we repose in the present moment. This marks the beginning and culmination of our true spiritual endeavor. It is only in this moment that we unearth the timeless, the eternal essence that escapes temporal constraints. Only here can we find the happiness we seek. The happiness of yesteryear remains only a memory, and the happiness projected into the future is a mere fantasy. Only within the authenticity of the present can we be truly happy, finding peace, understanding and connection, both within ourselves and with the world. So, give up the fight. Breathe in tranquility and allow everything to exist exactly as it is, and so, allow your body to relax. Open yourself to each experience without resistance, just breathe, here and now. Life sometimes flows effortlessly, sometimes presents challenges and sometimes plunges into the depths of anguish. Even in the midst of the most difficult conditions, freedom of spirit remains attainable. Regardless of how demanding your circumstances become, regardless of the uncertainties that permeate, remember this, your spirit cannot be confined. We exist with the capacity to love and embrace freedom in this life, no matter what happens. Deep down, we understand this truth. No matter what circumstances you find yourself in, you can take a deep breath, soften your gaze and remember that courage and liberation are inherently within you, awaiting your awakening. 
When your supervisor calls and anxiety takes over, when conflicts or family pressures arise, when the weight of the world's growing problems weighs on your shoulders, you retain agency. Although external events can be arduous, the core of our contentment lies in how our minds respond to them. You can allow circumstances to trap and confine you, or you can use these difficulties as a catalyst. Amidst the canvas of a compassionate heart, everything we try, every challenge we face, unfolds and flows with more grace. Whether in the midst of a heavy snowstorm or the cold of loss, guilt or the collective uncertainty we share, the desire for freedom and happiness is abundant. This journey towards happiness and freedom begins right where we are. Our personal quest can begin with the liberation of the spirit, freedom to embark anew, freedom beyond fear and freedom to embrace your authentic self. This effort reveals the freedom to love and the freedom to embrace happiness. Discovering freedom is an active journey that involves your intellect, your heart and your whole being. The means and the end are intertwined, it's about being yourself, having faith and taking action. As we unearth trust and freedom within ourselves, we illuminate a path to share them with the world. We can learn to express ourselves, to find happiness and to trust in love, and, this happiness is not an isolated occurrence. Freedom, love and joy are your birthright, embedded in your very life, in your precise circumstances, right here, right now. Happiness is not some indescribable land waiting to be discovered on the distant horizon. Instead, it is an integral thread intrinsically woven into the fabric of life, ready to be unraveled in the tapestry of the present moment. This unfolding revelation invites us to embark on a journey of mindfulness and perspective, a journey in which each step is a brushstroke painting the canvas of our experience. The invitation is extended, to witness the subtle shades of happiness that exist here, in the realm of now. This is the art of mindfulness, of peeling back the layers of distraction to reveal the jewel-like essence of the present. Often, at challenging moments in life, the gentle melodies of joy that play softly in the background are drowned out. It's as if happiness is whispering its presence amidst the hustle and bustle of existence. But the way to really hear that whisper, lies in cultivating a transformative perspective. Perspective, holds the power to shape the way we perceive the world. It allows us to change our lenses, to see even the mundane through the lens of wonder. In this reformulation, we discover that happiness is not a distant mirage, but a serene lake that mirrors the sky of our consciousness. Consider the lens through which you perceive the world, your perspective, your outlook. That lens, my friends, has the power to transform your reality. It's like a magic key that opens the door to true happiness and freedom. This key is not found in the outside world, it resides within your own being. Imagine that you are standing at the crossroads of your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs, the inner realm that shapes your experiences. Amidst this landscape, the seeds of happiness and freedom are waiting to sprout. It's as if your inner state of mind were a garden, and the way you tend it determines the quality of the fruit it produces. Often, the disorder of life obscures these seeds. Worries, doubts and distractions cast shadows over the potential for happiness and freedom to flourish. But fear not, for your perspective contains the tools to cultivate the soil and nurture these seeds. Change your perspective and you'll find yourself tending the garden of your mind. Just as a gardener cultivates the soil, you can cultivate a perspective that nurtures happiness and freedom. 
Think of your mind as a canvas and your perspective as the brush that paints the scenery of your life. By changing the strokes of this brush, you create a masterpiece filled with genuine happiness and freedom. This masterpiece is not an abstract concept, it is the life you live, shaped by your perspective. To dwell in this serenity, we must turn our gaze inwards. In a world that incessantly calls us outwards, introspection becomes the compass that guides us to the core of our being. This inner journey becomes a lantern illuminating the rooms where happiness resides, just waiting to be recognized. Thus, with a shifted perspective, we transmute the mundane into the extraordinary, revealing the beauty that lies beneath the surface. Going through this journey reveals a sanctuary of inner wisdom. It is here, within the sanctuary, that we come to know the interconnectedness of all things. The threads of mindfulness and perspective weave a tapestry that connects us to the very essence of life. As we stand in awe before this tapestry, the whispers of happiness grow louder, resonating not only within us, but in the symphony of the world around us. And so, as we navigate the currents of our existence with mindfulness as our compass and perspective as our guide, we embark on a journey that illuminates not only the path to happiness, but the deeper truth that happiness, in its purest form, is a journey unto itself, a journey that begins and ends in the embrace of this very moment. As we close this journey, I invite you to stay in the resonance of these words. Today, we explore a message of deep reflection, a perspective that has the potential to reshape the way we perceive our existence. Freedom and happiness, my friends, need not be sought from afar, nor postponed to a later date. Here, right now, appears as an invitation to perceive the subtle whispers of happiness that exist in the tapestry of the present. To truly hear that whisper, however, requires a change of perspective. This is the essence of happiness, a process that reveals the hidden gems of now, stripping away the layers of distraction and discontent. So, let the wisdom of these reflections infuse your perspective, coloring your perceptions with newfound clarity. For in these words lies the potential to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary, to reveal the treasures of happiness that await you in the sanctuary of the present. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit from this message. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections and experiences. Again, thank you for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.